guys, so for this week's Q&A... Valentine's questions. Yeah. yeah. I got Deadpool with me. It's not Deadpool, it's Spider-Man. I'm making a joke because we're seeing Deadpool tomorrow and you dressed up as Spider-Man for my video. Yeah. With a Doctor Who scarf. Mm -hmm. With BB-8. Yep. I love you. <laughs> so I asked you guys to send in specifically Valentine's Day related couple questions and all that and I'm going to answer them with the bay. Best word ever. You hate bay. You oh. hate that word. The drink's okay. Well yeah, but like, you see we're not, I'm not on the side of YouTube with all the relatable vlog YouTubers who use bay all the time. So I like to say bay to annoy him. And I say it like, Bay in the most annoying way possible. Yeah. And the cat is scratching at the Bowser cart. Hey! No! Don't no scratch at Bowser! <laughs> so for the Valentine's Day questions, I figured I'd answer them with the person I'm in a relationship with. So let's get started. From Cody on Facebook, what do you think is your favorite thing about Valentine's Day and why? What do we agree on? Chocolate. Chocolate! Actually, mostly, like, I'd rather, like, it's about, like, getting all the candy 50 and 75% off because you really, you, I feel like you don't have to, like, get something for your love on Valentine's Day if you, like, agree to be, like, whatever. Like, I mean, for... If you wait a couple days, you can get, like, twice as much for the same price. Exactly. Uh, but, like, for Valentine's Day for us, what we did, like, I ended up winning uh, last week when I won the tickets for the Pokemon Symphony Orchestra, um, the uh, Symphonic Evolutions. That was my gift to him where we went together. Uh, and his gift to me was the little sphere of BB-8, which I cannot open until tomorrow. But he got it like over fifty percent or over fifty percent off. Yeah. It's like still one hundred and fifty dollars at a lot of places, and you, like you got it for fifty percent off. That's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play with that BB-8 forever. Dina asks, when do you think is a good time to move in with your boyfriend? What do you think is a good time? Uh, when you're comfortable enough with each other, and when you have the finances set up. Yeah, like we, we've been dating for over three years now, um, but when we actually moved in together was two and a half years, last July. Um, and yeah, always make sure you have finances for when you move out, regardless of being in a couple or not. Um, finances is the most important thing, uh, because it's more expensive than you initially think and plan. Money. Money. <laughs> Calvin on Twitter. Uh, this is one of his two questions. Ask, what's one word to describe your relationship? Farts. No? I think, I think farts are an important part of any relationship. Being able to stand them. Yeah. You literally have cartoon farts! They're literally out of something you watch in a Saturday morning cartoon. I practice. It's all about the acoustics. <laughs> Fairy tale. Yeah. Because, like, okay, so we met, I, we did a, a boyfriend, girlfriend tag, actually two months into our relationship back on my channel. Mm -hmm. um, so we met at our very first cosplay convention, Yomacon 2012, and I saw him dress as Link, and I thought he was absolutely adorable and cute and everything, and my best friend Hayden went up to him and started snuggling him in the line. So that was weird, <laughs> but um, it's kind of like what helped you. Like it was, I felt like it was more comfortable that like you were actually somebody that was a friend of one of my friends, mm -hmm. so it was easier to talk to. Um, but yeah, and I feel like ever since then, like a relationship's a fairy tale, mm -hmm. and that you love me, and I love you, and I'm very surprised that like I'm happy I have someone that supports my YouTube antics and knows I want to make this like something one day other than just me being weird in my living room with my boyfriend dressed up as Spider-Man with a Doctor Who scarf. Calvin on YouTube asks, when you guys hang out together, do you play a lot of games together? Not just co-op, but also if you need help on a stage, do you ask help from the other person? Also, do you guys like the same games? I know you both like Zelda, but other than that, what else did we uh, do together? So, um, like generally, I'm more of the Nintendo person, and he's more of the PlayStation person. Like, all, like, we both like Zelda, like, before we met, like, he just finished Twilight Princess, I just finished Skyward Sword, and I never went through Twilight Princess, so, like, during, like, the first year of our relationship, like, whenever I'd go out over to his house, I'd always, like, be 
playing Twilight Princess and he just kind of helped me through whenever I got stuck. I need you to try it for me. No! Okay, see the thing is this is his opportunity to say, hey guys, tell Christina to play a horror game for a Let's Play and I'm gonna say no because I'm gonna be scared out of my pants. Like not that I'm gonna do, like, I'm bad, okay, I, I can't stand horror games in the sense that I get very scared easily. So it's not that I hate the game, but it's more like I don't want to play it because I'm going to be like, I will not I will just sit there with the controller and not move. And he's, like, he would have to sit next to me while I'm playing it. And he would want to make me play it in the dark, which is not a good thing for me because I will have nightmares because I just get scared very easily. And, uh One day I'll convince you to play Silent Hill with headphones in the dark. I just get scared very easily of everything. But I don't like being scared. Some people like getting scared. I'm not that fond of being scared. Okay, so he got tired of wearing the um, mask, so he put it on BB-8. Um, so like in terms of like the same games, like what was like trying to get me to play a horror game, like there's also like games he'll get me to try and want to play. Um, like he'll say, oh, you should try Fallout. You should try The Witcher. Like honestly, like I bought them so I could try them one day. But I've been so involved in like Xenoblade Chronicles X and Splatoon recently that I'm just like, we have our collection. So like whenever we want to play the games, then we'll play them and we'll like say, hey, which game should we play together? Like, yeah, that kind of thing. You played a lot of Yoshi. Yeah, actually, I do. We haven't finished it yet, but I was thinking of doing a let's play of us playing Yoshi's Whirly World together because his favorite Nintendo character is Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Um. um. <laughs> okay, so this is the question that I feel like we're gonna disagree on. But Gay Cape Man on Twitter asks, "Can y'all play Mario Kart without fighting?" Yes, you just fight after I win. Okay, Nintendo is my thing. Nintendo is my thing to be good at. If we've tried Call of Duty before and Halo, obviously he's gonna beat me because I haven't played those games a lot. But Mario Kart and Nintendo is my thing and when he beats me at it, that is not fair. Because that's my thing to be good at and better than you at. Same thing for Smash. Okay, the thing is, we don't fight. We like never fight. But like when we have disagreements, like if he beats me at something, I'm just gonna go sit in my corner and, or like pout and be whiny and have like a little bit of an attitude about it. Technically the answer is yes and no. As long as I don't get pissy when he wins, then we don't fight. Cause I gotta realize that he gets angry of like not winning if I constantly beat him or if he just never wins when we're playing like just by us by ourselves or with our friends. So, you know. I love you and I want you to be happy, but I want to be happy. <laughs> so is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we're done with the video? Make your player horror game. So that was this week's Q&A video. As always, leave your comments down below for next week's Q&A. I do plan on having it as just like, you know, back to normal questions. However, if you have questions for Chris anymore after seeing this video with him, um, you know, let me know and I'll have them in the video. And if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below because BB-8 in a spider mask will come and find you if you don't. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>